All right, so here are we on the Sunbeam. The Sunbeam, Tiger, is that what this is? So, and what is this? A British-born car, be my guess. Is this a British-born car? Yeah, it's a Sunbeam, the classic yeah. mid-60s fashion. Right. Oh my gosh, these things are rocking. Yeah. Wow. You know, because you had heard about, you know, they stick motors in like Miatas and stuff yeah. now. Yeah. You can still do that. This is early. This is a Cobra kind yeah, it's of. it's a Cobra. It's a Cobra, you know, competitor. Poor man's well, right. It's a lot more comfortable and day yeah. day than sure. a Cobra. Sure. Yeah, that was the same, because uh, yeah, AC was a little hand-built British company, so was yeah. Sunbeam. Sunbeam was a little bigger. Now, i got a YouTube channel, so you know. It's called Ice Age TV. Okay. If you're on video, if I bug you, I'll take you off. No, that's all right. I mean, I'm, I'm not showing your face, but it's a good channel. So, But you're a car enthusiast, because everywhere I'm going and seeing you, you seem to be very abreast of what it is. So is that a 65? 66 what uh, what would be I mean, your guess just, you can't really tell the difference they truly didn't change really right really anything maybe except the colors and, and the, well, it was a hard top the split yeah, yeah, the split yeah, 63 yeah. back window but my guess would be this is like a 65, a 65 or 66 that would be my guess and 350 uh small block motor in it 365 horsepower but this is really well, original it's probably a 327 they didn't have, they didn't okay so right you're right so you're there you go you're a ver, you're a you're a motorhead enthusiast pretty much yeah. yeah so that's awesome so you're right it's a 327 yeah with 365 that's pretty impressive that error at that yeah, time no, but even no emissions yeah and so except for maybe positive crankcase ventilation which is a good thing because that way it doesn't, the oil didn't get as contaminated yeah Right. From the unburned fuel, right. right. So that was like a like Rochester carburetor. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. You see that? Looks like, it looks like probably just a quadrajet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wonder who this is. You know whose car this is. It's really nice. It's beautiful. It really is white interior. Oh my gosh. So it had to be restored. What do you think? Completely restored. Look how nice this. Everything is complete. But I don't know. I mean. Because they make the parts for it, you know. Yeah. I mean, definitely the top. Individual car. Yeah, this has been. I mean, this has been completely restored. Paint. Probably bought. They took the body off. So, what would you think in today's market? This is hundred thousand dollar car today, or sixty to eighty? I'd say probably eighty to hundred. Now, I mean, they've, they've they've just you know. Yeah. And right. So it's just a three twenty seven. Most of them were sticks anyway, so you're not getting that. But I mean, it's completely restored. I mean completely restored I mean, right right all this stuff is new or has been like you know they took it apart and re-chromed it yeah all that good stuff right that's so these, cool this is also exceptional mag wheels in the day kind of rare yeah. oh yeah then this, of course the side exhaust it's really cool yeah yeah and you got the side pipes that that's so neat there. why don't they do that today in today's car you know what i mean that'd be so cool to have it it's just you know just uh, so cool but that's, Corvettes in particular, yeah. the ones you saw these things on, maybe Cobras also. So whose car is this? Have you known the person who owns this? No, no. I think this is the gentleman standing over here. I know the thing about this cruise in, you know, you, it's sort of yeah, like people want to touch about your car, but you want to wander around too. And yeah, cars too. sure, that right. Well, that's what I do. I, I bring my, brought my Camaro Z28 and my Corvette here, and I'm not even standing next to them. Um, I do my YouTube channel to show others. The fun factor of coming out to a car meet, right, and they right. get to uh, see so what this I do. Is a good one because I mean, when I first took my car, I mean, I, it was kind of ragged. I got the, uh, the Impala. The yeah, car. sure. You know, you know, you're there all day, and like you wait, wait, wait yeah. for the trophy you may or may not get. Oh, I know. Yeah, right, that, right, know right. No, I know. Get. I've been there but too this long. Is perfect. You just come, kind of, yeah, you go, right. It's cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah no, I, I years ago I used to and go to car shows. Something different. I mean, like for example, yeah, Sunbeam Tiger. There it is. Yeah, well, I've never seen it here before. You, you literally see at least one or two cars you have never seen. Day. Who has the GTX? Have you seen a GTX up there? It's past that truck. If you're a Mopar person, you'd love that. I mean, that's really. Uh, Whoops, yeah, Again, the you can camera. see, I mean, like, so for example, all this stuff. Yeah, the, the chrome, yeah, I can see. Chrome. Yeah, the windshield, the glass, the windshield yeah, wipers. This is one of my uh, 
But look at the motor though. You have to say this is pretty, this is pretty not been touched. Look at this. This is, you know, the power booster. That's original. But I mean, I'm saying they haven't replaced it. This is very close to how it would have looked. Yeah. And no air conditioning. That's the alternator. Air conditioning is. Air conditioning when you have a convertible. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that looks, and even has the original yeah. exhaust manifold. Absolutely. So they didn't put headers yeah. on it. No, that's it. So that's yeah. really, that's, and that's where it is today. You'd rather buy a car that's like this and buy the car that the guy that mods it all out. And that's a challenge. Well, you didn't really need to mod these. Yeah. You know, if it came right. Yeah. But on the other hand, like a Mustang, a Mustang is a much better car as a resto mod than it is as an original car. Right. I mean, yeah, he has, so. Know, for example, he has fat radial tires on it. Yeah. I mean, some people are, you know, there's two extremes. There's the, I want to walk in the time machine, come out and have my car look like I went into the dealers. That yeah. means, yeah, buy his tires. That means, tires. buy his tires. <laughs> yeah. Little, little paint marks from the inspector, inspectors yeah. in yeah. the factory, that type uh -huh. of shit. Yeah. And then there's the, oh, I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I want to it. And the, but the bulge, most people fit someplace in the middle. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Carmagia. Yeah, ha! Ha! Sweet. Oh my gosh, he's got exhaust on it. Yeah. Have you seen the square back? The Volkswagen yeah, square, square back? Yeah. Hey there, kid. What's going on? How are you? Good. Look at this here. So, look at this. So, if money was no object, I'd have one of these for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I've now. I've been taking pictures of that. Okay. Yeah, now this so is, what's is this? Gonna have a modern is this Porsche? half a million? Yeah. Pretty much. If you're gonna have a modern Porsche, it might as well be something like this. Full race. So is this a? Factory. Is this like a 2020 or 2021? No, I don't know. What year Porsche is this? 18. 2018. Last time they made one. So did you pay 300 or half a million? <laughs> uh, somewhere in between. Yeah. How many did they make stateside? 100, 200. But wow! Uh, now I have a YouTube like, channel. Like just nine hundred. Like usually, it's like nine. Like I've got a Speedster, two thousand nineteen, that made nine hundred of those. They, you know, and they'll make another one of these in probably two years when they get rid of the nine nine the nine nine two body, because this is the each each series of Porsche they make a GT two RS. So the last time this is a nine nine one point two. That's a lot. This was the last. Now, is this all-wheel drive? No. Just rear? It's a rear-wheel drive. So I have a YouTube seven, channel. 775 horsepower. Yeah, no, I have a YouTube channel, so you don't want to be on it. I won't put you on it, but I, it's called Ice Age TV. That's my Camaro. This is my Z06 right yeah, next to right fast. now. So this I'm is my car here, too. Track, so if you don't yeah. mind, this is a great conversation for people watching my channel. So if you don't mind sharing, I'm going to share this. Share what? Share your information. You have a very rare car. Yeah, they're yeah. different. You don't see these. Uh, no, you, don't, you, you don't couldn't couldn't even get one though. Back in 2018, how did you get on the list to get one? No, I bought it last year. When, oh, you um, bought it used. Yeah, when the price when the prices started dropping a little bit. Yeah, because they were like a half million. Yeah, I know. And I know. They dropped, then they got soft a little bit because everybody yeah. wanted the GT3 RS, a new one. Yeah. yeah. And they were willing to pay ridiculous over um, manufacturer for them. So those were more expensive than these. And I was like, I'm not gonna buy. I'm gonna buy one of these because I know that they're just gonna go up, up in value. So how many miles were on when you bought it? Uh, Two thousand miles. Wow. Low, did you buy it local or did you see the Montana tag? No, I bought it in. It was a California car. Okay. Uh, uh, Bought it in Palm Springs at the Porsche dealership there because they get people that go in and buy cars. So like that wall, it's in Palm Springs. Yep. Actually, older crowd, they'll put it in the garage, don't drive it, and then they'll want something else and and come in and trade it on something else. And this is not this is a nice car as a daily. It really can be a daily driver. But, but now you but, just said it had seven seventy five horsepower. Yeah, seven. Yeah, so that's factory. That's factory. There's wow. a few, a few wow. adjustments, but this Woo. was the... I didn't uh, know that. Woo. This held the... For a production car, this held the record on the Nürburgring right. for five years. Yep. Until this past year. The Mercedes won. The new AMG... Uh, no, it's a Mercedes one. You can't... It's only it's, made 25 of them. Yeah, it's... It the, looks like a race car. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think that's considered a production car. I thought you had to make at least 200. Yeah. But they only made 25 of them, and it's a flat-out race car. 
kind of like NASCAR used to have the guidelines to be able to race cars. I mean, if I tried to build X amount of cars, yeah, you qualify. So, but in be terms able. of balance and power and everything? Let's walk around with this car. So this is carbon fiber. So I don't even want to touch it because is that five grand or ten grand, right? <laughs> uh, well, you got this the, uh, <laughs> the carbon the fiber. Five, the five-year service on this vehicle is seven grand. Wow, but that's not bad. I mean, no, because okay, you go to the dealership. I mean, that's actually a good deal if you ask me, because you'll spend three grand if you go there one time. No, and I have uh, a CPO through uh, through twenty-seven on this car. CPO. Certified pre-owned. Oh wow, that's yeah, pretty so cool. I thought it had two years on it, and then for like six thousand bucks, I could extend it for three years. Yeah, it's like a no-brainer. Yeah, because anything breaks on this car, it's it's more than that. Pretty okay, much. so what makes the GT2 RS way over the top from the 911? I mean, I think we all know, but for you, for the people watching well, my channel, no, like there's no. Um, I'm not like this is my first Porsche, and I bought a Speedster after this. Complete. It's a, a Speedster. It's 2019. 900 of them. Yeah, that's. Um, you got a collection of. It's a GT assets. It's, it's based on. It's, yeah. It has the GT3. It looks like the Batmobile. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, like my car there with the back, little funky Yeah, yeah little, it's got humps. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Humps. yeah. I know. Is it Most silver? Most people don't know them. Is it silver? Silver. silver. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Silver, but I matted it. I matted PPF. To, I PPF every car. Yeah, that's cool. This is full PPF. Yeah. Windshield's done. Well, sure, because this is such a valuable and I, and I car. It, so I don't want it dinged. Right. I don't track it that much. Okay, so back to... This car is an all-out race car. This is truly a, technically. Yeah, it's, not, it's yeah, it's not a. It's got everything left in it. I've got a, a, a half cage. I'm going to put in it. OEM, but you can't get it in the U.S. because you're going to put a half cage in it. Yeah, it's OEM yeah. though. Okay. So I can put harnesses in. It. Yeah, of course. So you can actually race it to. It's, it's, so I can actually extreme. sit in the car and, and yeah. even though the, the carbon buckets are nice. Uh, it's nice to have, uh, but it's a Chiptronic transmission, right or wrong. Yeah, that's the only. That's one. crazy. That's the only. Uh, it wasn't in stick at all. Yeah, that's because why it's I bought the handle. Speedster because it's a six-speed. Yeah. High rev, yeah. no turbos, mm -hmm. screams, but it doesn't have the crazy torque that this thing. Has. Yeah, sure. So the, the automatic, not automatic, but the Chiptronic will hold up versus the manual. That's the. I'm sure the clutch oh, issues. It's, it's it's like it's it's solid. I like certain cars. I have a lot of dual clutch cars that I'm better than it. This thing, I'm I'm not. This is so much quicker than me. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's some, above your not above your pay grade. It's above your driving grade. Yeah, you're, you're not, not like somebody. Like I, I have a Z06 new one. Yeah, and I am better working the paddles on a track than than it's than it especially downshifting. It's so, a, which has more personality? Z06 or this here? This, this is, is bust. Like, this busts out. Yeah, this, it, you'll, it's you'll like wipe out if you don't. a great car. Like, and I've only tracked mine a couple times. I'm tracking next weekend. Where do you go? Down to like South Virginia? VIR and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's a great track for yeah. horsepower cars. Yeah, yeah. I know a couple guys that have got the car top version of yours. They're, 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 they're fast. But the steering response is complete. It's it's just a heavier car. This 3,200 pounds, that's not, what's the 19? 15. 15. Yeah. But it's probably 36. Yeah. The right. new one. I couldn't believe the new Z06 is, I looked at the thing, I opened yeah. the door, it's yeah. 4,100 pounds. Yeah, right. It's a, it's a tank. It doesn't look like more, it's but tank. once you, you yeah. drive this and then you get in that, yeah. and you're like, oh, this thing's a lot heavier. Well, it's like that Camaro Z28. So I've got, I've had the GT 500s, the Hellcats, yeah. and so that Camaro that's a 2015, it is so light. It's it does been all fast. Yeah, it's been stripped out. It's, a, it's designed to go to the racetrack. Yeah. So when you drive that car, I know exactly what you're talking about. It is so free spirited. Yeah. That car there is, if you're not an incredible driver, you'll crash that car. Yeah. And not, because the technology of the newer cars, just like this, I'd imagine this is the same thing. Yeah, you've got to be uh, you. It's a very progressive throttle. It's got an amazing launch. It's like an electric car. It's so cool. So it's torque, yeah. Sure, but how but does you it... you got to be... Whereas, like, my Speedster, I just flat in, or, like, uh, like the Z06, you can't... I can't upset it. I haven't learned to upset it yet. Yeah, I get it. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm yeah. Like, I, yeah. I'm like... I'm like... I feel like I'm slow. And then I'm checking my lap times, and I'm like, this thing's pretty fucking slow. Wow. 
but it's. But what's but your you favorite think... track car to date? As far as no, it, you go out, because I've got an Exige like that over there, but mine's got more aero. Com a go kart completely different than this. Yeah. Then I've got a, a Supra, track Supra. It's the funnest car to drive in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. What year? What year? The new 2020. one. Yeah, I have one. The suspension's right. Engine's done. It, 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 it was a, so freaking loose. You're right. You, it's, it's a freaking um, drifter car. If you know how to drift, that would be a great drifting um, car. But it was so uh, it was way too loose. Uh huh. Yeah. So now with the with the drop suspension, with the coilovers, yeah. you know the sway bars were like this big around. Now I have big fat sway bars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's just fun because like if I twitch it or I go off track a little bit, who cares? Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, sure. It's a fifty thousand. Yeah, it's a fifty thousand dollar car. Yeah, like I go out, like I'll go to Summit Point, Maine. I put faster times on my Super than I do in this. Oh, that's I'm driving. You're worried. You're worried. <laughs> you're not, worried. You don't I'm want not, to crash. I'm yes. not sticking my nose in. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going down the back street, passing yeah. in the inside, and keeping my no, yeah. no nose in. Okay, so are these ceramic uh, brakes? Yeah, of course. You know, you got them on your Camaro. So, you're, but how do you like those? Because you got them getting really hot. To really be working. Yeah, the, you know the nice thing about because I have a AMG GTR uh, track car, 900 horsepower. It's got carbon ceramics. A lot of people don't like carbon ceramics because it gets so hot. Yeah. Like, you can't touch the wheel for a half hour after off the track. Really? But there's no fade. Yeah. Like, you go with iron brakes, you yeah. feel it, and then especially with a heavier car, lighter car, not so much. Yeah. Heavier car, you start to get fade. So let's say you're braking at four uh -huh. or three, then you start braking at four. And by the end of your session, you're breaking at five because you've got so much fade. Well, here, but here's the thing: you're talking about carbon seats. Yeah, that's a carbon. <laughs> yeah, but the nice thing is they're comfortable. Well, I mean, I like, can. I've got some carbon seats that I from my other cars. There, they, I can sit in it. Uh, wow, I mean, this is such a. How do you? How do you? How can you actually own this car without always being paranoid? You're gonna do something to the car. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is this your it, it is. This guy's. A, I'm so glad you're here because my buddy we used to race together up at yep. Summit, yep. and uh, he just bought. He's always wanted to. You know, we ran. We raced Corvettes for years. Yep. There, and he's always wanted a, a GT3. Right. And he just. He was said. He says, "Man, I'm thinking about getting a C8 Z06." I said, "No, nah, man. You know, you want a GT3." So he just bought a, a, a nine nine. 1.2. Yeah, that's his body. Yes. And uh, just got it. Uh, had 10,000 miles on it. He sent me a Facebook. He and his wife are a car. You know, pinning that thing to nine grand. I'm like, holy shit. So I'm really going to get him now because I'm going to say, GT3, hey, shit. Look at this, man. GT2R. We were just talking because I have a C, I have a C, you know, six. Okay. And I track them both. And it's like two worlds. Oh, yeah. Two different worlds. And that's not a good thing. This is just. Uh, the steering, I mean, it's completely... That's exactly what he tells me. I mean, you know... It's a different feel. Like, I would be driving a Z06, it's nice. But it doesn't have the same response level. You go fast. Yeah. Like, you feel like... Like, I haven't upset mine yet. I'm like, I haven't... I feel like I haven't pushed it, but then I look at my lap time. Are you running a Summit? Yeah, I'm what, running a Summit. What do you turn? I'm just curious. Yeah. Summit me, I was running... That's great, man. That's but fun. I felt like I was going slow. Yeah. And I just was just learning. Well, um, I was just learning the car. I'll put um, that in perspective. He's at the ZR1 down there, the black Corvette. Yeah, the, the uh, one. ZR1s are fast shit. Yeah, yeah, that's his down there. Oh, okay. I just did a little video on his. Yeah, I have it. I'm going to take it to uh, VIR in uh, June. That'll that's be. That's I used to race. Oh, okay. okay. My last competitive race in the car was 2009. Won some races at Watkins Glen and the Summit. But. To give you an idea, so that was 2009. I was as a race car weighed about 2850, had 550 horse, and I was running, you know, 118s. You know, this is a freaking street car, well, right. kind of. Well, yeah, the Z06. <laughs> well, no, this, Plus, I was this should be quicker, car. but uh, no, the Z06 weighs 4,000 pounds. Yeah, man, it's heavy. It's freaking man. heavy as shit. But <laughs> right, you know, yeah. you, 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 just what you said. I mean, they're both great cars. There ain't nothing like this. He, he just, he's, you know, he's got a GTR as well, an AMG GTR. Yes, sir, do I. It, you're kidding me. And no, I've goes, got one that's got... Is, um um, I've got one that's uh, more of a track car. It's like 900 horsepower. Oh my god! But it's completely different because the turbo, the turbos are they lag, 
and then they explode. Yeah. It's like top, like, you know, back straight at VIR, it's 180, 590, but the, there's so much lag. This thing has no lag. It's just linear turbos. It's like, it's like an uh, electric car. Yeah. It's like so bizarre because you're, it's, you can't foot it out of a turn or you're going to snap the car, but the power is just so linear, it's crazy. He, yeah, he, you know, he loves his GTR but, and, and, and his, uh, <coughs> The GT3 is a, is a manual. Yeah, that's and, why I have a speedster. I got oh, because I wanted a man. I wanted a six speed. Yeah, I wanted and to scream it. He just, you know, he said, you know, I just can't put my finger on it. But he goes, it's everything I ever dreamed of. I said, I, I know it, man. I said, I, you know, that's what you wanted. That's what you should have got. And I love all cars. I don't care what they are, man. I mean, I just send them. You're a motorhead. Yeah, I am a gearhead, I, know, I, I tell you, because I've raced cars or raced motorcycles. I've driven just about everything. And I got in this car when it's delivered. And I got, I, I was driving on the street and I was driving 20 miles an hour. Oh my God. And my hands are on, and I'm like, oh. Because <laughs> I never had a Porsche before. I'm like, oh, this is what they're talking about. Yeah, man. Because it felt like no other car I've ever driven the way this, the steering is. It's so precise. Is it because, it's but so also precise. because there's no weight up front, yeah, no so, engine, and your engine's all the way in the back, whereas the Yeah, I haven't learned how to drive it fast yet, and I think it's switching cars I never will. Because the guys that just like drive a GT3 all the time, yeah, right. Those guys are so freaking fast. Oh, man. They're so fast because they hook up, they hook up everywhere, and they're so quick through the turns. Yeah, so, um, I got my dream uh, last year. This is this is my dream ride right here. I've seen that see here. That yeah. yeah. Which I've car seen. is it? It's just it's a. a oh secret. yeah. That's yeah, a, yeah, we you know we were frame. we were yeah. next to you two weekends ago. Oh, okay. We had our what do we That's have yours? here? Yes, uh huh. What's yours? Have? It's a seventy one. Okay. Uh, but it's it's a complete restaurant mod, tube frame, uh, four twenty seven LS three, six twenty horse, yeah, twenty nine hundred pounds, and Tremec TKO five speed, uh, four tens, which is ridiculous. Uh, you know, huge. I mean, I got I, I just bought a new set of rival lessons and just stuck on there. And still can't hook up. It's ridiculous. But I mean, it's old school. But I love it. I mean, it is. It is a. I have so much respect for the guys who drove those cars that era. Let me tell oh, you. Oh yeah. That that is. I mean, no ABS. Yeah. Great brakes. No ABS. But let me tell you, that you can get in trouble in that car in a heartbeat. You know, where these. You know, I've got a, a really nice one LE Camaro that's built and the car's phenomenal. I mean, I, it's just a slot car. This, this is a slot car. <laughs> It scares me driving. Yeah. It, it, but it's a now, what motor? You got a 427 in that? Or? Yeah, LS3. Mm -hmm. Right. No, we, we were right next to you the other week. Yeah, I remember seeing the, the black Z28. Yeah, right there. We were right oh, there. Man, I love that car. I just took a picture of it. I, I love those cars. Man. Yeah, they, and they're so free spirited. Yeah. Oh, that man, car is so yeah, light. They are, man. Yeah. And it's, it's a natural aspirated it's a setup. Car too. I mean, it's a 10 year car now. Think that through. That car, so I have the brand new Mustangs, GT500s, Hellcats. You drive that Camaro, it's got the Multimatic suspension in it. Yeah, Do you know man. what that is? Oh, yeah. The Multimatic. Absolutely. That's yeah. a new GTD. Mustang that's coming out. Yeah, man. And so that thing is 10 years ago. It has technology and in some ways is better than today's. Oh, they're, they're it's just uh, oh, there you go. Look at that. Wow. That that's nice. Talking about your Porsche, yeah. man. That's fantastic. Congratulations.